To me, meditation is opposite of controlling, opposite of resisting. What is opposite of controlling? Opposite of resisting? That's a good question. I was working as a seaman, and it is part of uh, curriculum to have firefighting course. Our instructor was Scottish man. His name is Scotty. Big, tall, red-headed, red beard. Husky, out in the field, there was a big shack, and Scotty put some gasoline on both sides and burned the, put the shack into fire, and we were, one by one, just from the middle, kind of uh, crawling, from the middle and going across like this. Scotty was getting mad, screaming and shouting. Get down, lady, for God's sake, get down. For crying out loud, get down, lady, get down. No, no, get down, now, lady. Get down, lady, for God's sake, get down. For crying out loud, get down. No, no, get down, no, lady. <coughs> get down now. That is meditation. Now is meditation. Meditation is now. When I was working in passenger ship, I was steering the boat, and the captain, mate captain, he gave me steering orders, 035, 035. I said, that 035, we're going to hit the, the beach. Oh, he said, sorry old chap, 085, 085. As we were going on 085, we were just exactly under the bridge on the middle in Lionsgate Big Bridge in Vancouver, crossing, going into Cole Harbor. Our mind is the most beautiful instrument on earth, but it is automatic pipe. It needs to be directed. If you don't use our mind, and we don't use our mind, our mind will use us. All you have to do is turn on the news. As we were approaching the dock, we shut the engines, and you could hear the silent, splashing sound of beautiful uh, water, splashing sound of the water. Beautiful silent sound of splashing water. And that is meditation. Meditation is silence. Meditation is now. Meditation is now and silence. Now and silence. Shh.